Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's second uh, brief introduction to MATLAB. Today we're going to be looking at two-dimensional arrays and uh, as per usual we're going to set the present working directory which I've shown you before to be Z colon MATLAB. This is the command window, okay, current directory, there's nothing there in Z colon MATLAB and are there any variables declared in my workspace? No, there isn't, okay. So, we're going to clear the screen as before and we're going to create our first array. And how do we create an array? Uh, square brackets. How do you create the second row? Semicolon. And the third row. Close with the square brackets and if you leave out the semicolon you do not suppress the output. And you can see over here in the workspace we've created a variable a with those commands. Okay, Here we go again, create another 2D array. Second row, third row, and this time I am going to suppress the output. Now I'm going to add the two arrays. So how do you put in a comment to MATLAB because we need to get used to this later. You put in the percentage sign and you type in your command or your note. Okay. Leave out the semicolon. That's grand. Subtract the two. No marks for this. Multiply the two. Okay, and just as a personal note, this makes you very lazy because in other languages you'd have to go through a nested for an next loop to do all of that. So MATLAB is uh, very time efficient. Okay, so we've done all of that. Now there are inbuilt uh, commands in MATLAB, so we can uh, for array, so we can say this. So I create the identity and I create a tree by two identity array. Okay, you can say this. That creates a four rows and five columns array of zeros. And you can also say this. And that creates a three by six, okay, which is consisting of ones. Thank you very much.